This log home is going to be coming to life in this video. We're going to be working on some of the most important logs of the whole build. And by the end of this one guys, we're not going to be too far away from having these log walls done completely. You know guys, she's sure getting pretty tall. Gotta be careful even how I jump off this thing. I sure hope you guys are having as good a day as I am here today. What a change already on our house as we're dropping these front and back walls down. Hey, let me tell you what a good day it is here today. And we're off to cut some logs. We got the logs on the wall. They're all scribed, ready to cut. The building is really going good and man, there's, I really feel like I'm living the life. I wake up in the morning, I brew some coffee, load the chainsaws and all that stuff. Head out in the 12 valve to go work on some logs. It's a hell of a life, man. Gotta love it. Life is good. You won't believe how this thing is gonna look shortly because we're just gonna wrap up this eighth round here in a couple days. And then once we put these logs above the windows, we got a house and a hell of a house. The logs coming up here next are so big and we're getting so high. I'm really starting to wonder if my tractor is going to be able to lift them up here. Or if we're going to have to figure something else out. Well, you would really think that working in the winter would be a pain in the ass, but you get used to it as good as I do and it's not really any problem. You know, I used to spend all the winter on the trap line, so I've always done a lot of work in the winter, especially when winter is like this. I mean, God, it's so nice out today, you can't call it winter. First, we fire up the coffees. Then we fire up the chainsaws and we get right to work here. It's already big. It's hard to believe what it's gonna look like with three more big rounds like this up above. Man, I can't wait to see it come to shape with you guys. This next round's really gonna add a lot. This is the last little log in pieces and then we're gonna get into the monster logs here. You are probably wondering how impatient I am to get this thing done, but it's definitely not quite what it seems. You see, despite being such a monumental project that is and will be taking thousands of hours, I really try to not treat it as such. I am not counting the days and or pushing any sort of deadline on it. I, I treat it a lot differently. It, it's definitely more significant. I really just love the work. I love coming out here every day and 
and having fun with it. This log building, it's what I love to do and I try not to take away from how much fun I have with it by saying it needs to be done by this or that. So every day I come out here and I chip away at this thing at a snail's pace. The, I might go home at the end of a long day and I only have one clip for my video and I'm, the building might not even look any different. But I'm okay with it. And it's because I know that I'm gonna have fun with this thing the whole way. I'm gonna enjoy my work. I'm gonna love the process. And at the end of it, after we chip away at this thing day after day after day, I'm gonna have a beautiful handcraft at home that I built myself and have saved so much money, so much money doing it. So I'll have exactly what I want for really a lot of sweat equity. You guys will not believe, you know, what's really behind all this when we clean it up and when we finish it. It's really starting to come together now and it's gonna come to life here. Let's get to work. The beast is too loud, I had to get the heaviest set of earmuffs I could find. I've been wearing earplugs under my earmuffs just to be able to tolerate that thing. God is it not. Honestly, this saw is just, it's ludicrous. <laughs> it's a be it's the beast. I literally can't even walk fast enough back for how fast this thing can cut. It's not even funny. Well, this thing's starting to get big enough I get a little more nervous about doing this. We are just doing some leveling. I only need about a quarter of an inch here. Oh, this is kind of getting sketchy. Oopsie. Stay where. Ooh, I hate those noises. Holy fuck. We gotta get more shims under. Here's what we gotta do. There's so much weight on this. We have to be real careful how we let it down even. This is the one I've been waiting for for so long. We got it set out here how we want it. And we're gonna close off the front of this house and holy shit, I can't wait. <laughs> this is a couple thousand pound frozen block of ice. It's totally a green piece of wood. I gotta shift the whole thing over. I gotta make sure I don't roll the damn thing on myself or off the wall or... I, it's a little bit nerve wracking. The logs we're getting into here are absolutely just ludicrous. The tip of this log is the same size as the butt of these ones. It's not even funny. Oh, perfect fit. God, this is nice. Holy fuck.
Okay guys, so here are the first ever look at the plans for this house. Now that we got this incredible log going across, it becomes clear as day how the front of this house is gonna look. Here I am trying to show you some scale of this thing, man. It really feels like you're in a house now. Like I'm over six foot tall. It really makes it feel like you're, like you're in a house. And now I can finally show you guys what the front of this house is gonna look like because the shape is really there. We're gonna cut these and put a big patio, uh, big patio door up here to the top. We're gonna put posts on either end to support this big log and then six by five windows on either side and we're gonna cut everything perfectly. I tell you, it's gonna be a really impressive looking house and it's gonna be pretty nuts sitting in this thing. It's, it's very, it's a very powerful, powerful house. Now, hey, check it out, check it out friends. I made, I made a prop for you. There's no easier way to show this. This is something I spend a lot of time on trying to make this look good. So this is how, how our spruce logs look. There's so much taper, right? Now usually the taper is about half, right? Like the middle of the tip is about the same height as the middle of here on the wall, give or take. But on this big log on the front, what I actually wanted to do is level the top of it. So you can see there's a lot of taper on the bottom and then the top is level. That's because when I cut the window out here, this will look very nice because there'll be the same distance here. The window cut will be level with the top of this log. Oh God. The log is uh, so heavy and slippery it wants to twist. I have to strap it from rolling. When you're building or when you're fixing or really no matter what you're doing, there's times when it becomes really hard or really slow or sometimes you honestly just don't even know what you're doing or what you should be doing and to be honest with you so far setting these header locks has been all three of those things for me and it seems like it's just human nature for whenever things get hard there kind of becomes this building urge to just say fuck it you know fuck it take a shortcut or miss a few steps or speed it up or let it slide or proceed without truly knowing what we're doing. The absolute best thing you can do is never, ever, ever say fuck it. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. When something comes up, you gotta be patient, you gotta take it slow, and you gotta take a step back, you know, maybe go home and do the research, come back and do it right. It's the absolute best feeling in the world knowing you did something right or to the best of your ability. Because I'm never gonna be sitting in this house after it's done and, and, and thinking, well, I'm really sad that on December 22nd I spent three extra hours getting this log perfectly lined up. But I would sure sit in this house bothered if there was something blatantly obvious that I did lazy and sloppy and I could have done a lot better. What we're doing in simple terms here is making small adjustments to make sure that these logs will stay fitted together when they shrink. Perfect. Now I'll pull my wedge out. Perfect. Everything is sitting perfect and perfectly shimmed and lined up after many hours of doing it. So we got to get it scribed here for sure before it's dark because I don't want anything to come out of place. I want it done tonight. Oh, 
Well guys, that's just perfect. There's no better feeling than going home at the end of the day when you got done what you wanted to get done. Gotta love it. Well, it's Christmas Eve and I sure hope we can finish that backlog here before supper tonight. We just need about an inch here. Man, this is awesome. Man, I can't even tell you how glad I am to have this one done before Christmas. That was my goal. It cut her a bit close there, had some trouble, you know. But now I'm off to celebrate Christmas here tonight on Christmas Eve, and I better get my ass in gear. I'm gonna be late too, shit. And then Christmas tomorrow. Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope everyone is doing just great. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this thing come to life as much as I have with the these header logs, this thing, it's just something to look at for me. I, I'm really proud of it. It's really come to shape here with these logs, but really we're just getting started. There's so much shape yet to go, you know? And the next one, we're gonna start on these beams and joists that go across for the attic and hold up the roof. We're gonna do the long header logs here right quick. And then it won't be long and we're gonna be putting these monster 62 foot logs on the long wall, guys, <laughs> holy. That's gonna be something I tell you. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming along with me on this build. I appreciate having you all with me and I hope to catch you on the next one guys. I hope everybody is doing just great.